to continue to show his mercy for the leader of humanity, Prophet Muhammad. His household and companions and followers did lay of accountability. Today we are discussing the hadith of Rasulullah Sallam, hadith of Abi Huraira, where he said, Rasulullah Sallam says in that hadith, that Islam started strange, newly to people, very strange. And that was the case in the Meccan period as we discussed last Friday. Very strange. For you to tell those who are worshipping idol to stop worshipping idol, that is very strange in Mecca. The leadership believe in worshipping of idols. The most influenced believe in that. That has been on generations, decades. So it becomes strange in Mecca. And Rasulullah is informing them of what is going to happen at the end of the day. He said it's going to be strange too later. As today you are going to witness some strangeness when you stick to the deen. People see you as if you are living in another planet. You are not wise, you are not civilized. You are not compromising. You don't understand. How can you survive? That has carried a number of individuals to live their real understanding of the deen. They make little effort and they could not continue and maintain the status and be rooted and not to compromise and uh, it is because of the majority the majority are misleading the majority are misguiding the majority are calling for what is not decent what is not the morals what is not discipline now those who are weak minded soon they will join them and the excuses are everybody is doing it Allah is going to ask you alone your grief. Very unfortunately, even some scholars too. The knowledge became the correction. Competitive with it, competing with the, the knowledge they have, not the action. So we are living in a time that is very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. If you want to bear this gharib, you must stick to the Quran and the Sunnah. In action, not in words or organization. It is your actions that will deliver you. And when we call for the Quran and the Sunnah, people used to think of the judges and the courts. No. The rulings in the courts are not up to 20% of our, of our do's and don'ts in the Quran. The way you behave, the way you talk, the way you relate with your wives or wife or your children or child or your neighbor or the Muslims entirely and the non-Muslim all these are documented in the Quran the Quran is a book of guidance to anything you are doing anything whatsoever you are doing so it's beyond the issue of only the courts and the judges so this is the only way you can maintain the pattern the content of the Quran in action following the Sunnah in action anything that you are confused of ask what is the command in the Quran what is that of the Sunnah forget about any organization or any individual or any malam stick to it these are the Quraba the Rasulullah mentioned their qualities in another hadith he says they are the ones who are firm in doing righteousness when people are engaging themselves in doing wrongness <coughs> In fact, another translation he gives them is that they are the ones who are firm, rooted, uncompromised, and they work on others. They preach to others. They don't have any fear in telling the truth before whosoever. These are the Guraba. And these are the people we want in the society, whether leaders or led. Practice what is good and right. Be righteous in your actions, in your weddings, in your relationship, in your everything. Then tell others to do the same. This is the only way we can reform the society. But where you are following the majority, and that's why the verse in an arm, 116, Allah says, if you follow the majority, the majority on us, they are going to mislead you. All they are preaching is conjectures fake things that are not real assumptions 
claims that are not true. So be very, very careful. Very, very careful. Especially you are lucky to witness another new year. It's an opportunity. Those who are in their graves today cannot make any change. It is we who are living today that have the opportunity. Use the opportunity to maintain your ground. Nothing will happen to you. Since you exist till death, with the power and command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nothing is going to affect you. Nothing. Be righteous. Be firm and be rooted. Al-Guraba, they are the ones who doesn't go into shirkiyat. Have a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By going to sources, the Baba Laos and the Bokas. You see people relating and depending on what they are going to give of verdicts. You have lost your iman. Consumption of alcohol, fornication, corruption, bribery, lies, telling lies, envy, all these are grievous offenses. Somebody who wants to be named a gharib should shun all those. In fact, go as, as far as doing away with sagai. Small, small things. Be concerned with yourself. People are no more concerned with themselves, they are concerned with others. You cannot be gharib. When your own discussion is on others, not on your own self, and you know whom you are. We pray Allah Ta'ala to count all of us among those who are guraba. And then to count the Muslim Ummah all together on that line. The Sunnah of fasting is known to almost everybody. That we fast Taswa and Ashura because of our Prophet Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. When Allah saved him in the hand of Paro, Fir'aun alayhi la'anatullah. And what Rasulullah was informed of this, he said, We are more entitled to do that than the Jews. Because all the Prophets are our own. We don't discriminate between all the prophets. So Rasulullah fasted. And the hadith is sound, hadith of Inya Abbas. Said he fasted and he commanded for the fasting. And the hadith of Ibn Qatada spell out the reward that it will cleanse your sin of last year, the whole of last year. And the hadith of Inya Abbas again. So Rasulullah said if he is to live till next year, he is going to fast the ninth day, which is tomorrow. By the counting of the Sultan, the leader of the Muslims in this country, tomorrow is nine, and next tomorrow is ten. Although there are those whose counting today is nine, if you fast today, there is nothing wrong in that. It shouldn't be a business of discussion and argument and wranglings. People who are jobless are the ones who wrangle on issues that are not issues. If you fasted today, you are fasting today, it's not a problem. Fast today, fast tomorrow, fast next tomorrow. In fact, fast on Monday because it's sunnatic also. What is there? In fact, fast on Wednesday, which is the 13th and 14th and 15th. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday coming. All is sunnah, you end your reward. Those who cannot fast can go into other activities of goodness. When you see people wrangling on a sunnah of this nature, they, they don't have anything doing. They are not serious. Now you, the whole town is discussing whether it's today or, or, or it's tomorrow. This ummah is an ummah that is having key and primary things to do. The sunnah are not to be neglected, neglected but it shouldn't be a, 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 I mean, a, 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 I mean, a portion of discussion and, and wranglings and argument and even uh, trying to pass some words on others which actually have no meaning. We pray Allah Ta'ala to guide our leaders aright, especially our president. We pray Allah Ta'ala to continue to guide him to be right and righteous. Our minister in this FCT too, we ask Allah Ta'ala to continue to guide him to be doing the right thing at the right time in the FCT. All our leaders who are all, almost every part of the country, we pray for them for goodness. This we are starting the new year. We pray Allah Ta'ala to be their guide, to guide them to be doing right. And those of them who will be doing wrong, we pray Allah Ta'ala 
to handle them in the best way he knows he would go to handle his servants who are doing wrong. Allahumma izal Islam wal Muslimin. Wadamira adana adaka adad din. Allahumma alayka bil kafara wal fasaka wal fajara. Alladhina yukidun al-Islam wa kaida. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaba al-nar. Inna Allahu malaikatu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayu alladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad. Kuma salli ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim. Naka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad. Kuma barik ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim. Naka hamidun majid. Kumu ila salati.